this is kind of a elk super highway here and they always come down this hill across the field and then go down to the creek you can see here where a lot of them cross the creek which isn't that big but it's totally frozen over now So I walked across the creek, I assume an 800 pound elk can do it, so can I. So now they're going in all kinds of different directions here, so I don't know which one to follow. So a lot of these tracks are going really up this steep hill, which is 45 degrees up, and I'm not about to do that, so we'll follow some more down the creek. These tracks look like they might be from a weasel. Uh, they've been snowed on and wind has been blowing, so they got covered up after the first few feet here. I opted for no snowshoes today. There's only a foot of snow or so on the ground. A lot easier to walk around without snowshoes. There's a lot of these elk tracks coming up off the water and then up here along the edge of the bank. So I think I'm gonna find a tree somewhere around here that will work. I wanna stay somewhat off the trail just because people do walk over here and I'd rather them not see the camera at all. A lot of the tracks are going up this pretty steep part of the hill here. So I think I'm gonna walk up just a little bit, put it on one of these bare trees. I don't want a lot of branches around the camera that will just trigger it off. So I've got the camera set up on this tree here. Uh, there's no branches or grass or anything. The only problem is it's pointing up since the tree is leaning and I want it to pop back out this way a little more. So I'm gonna find a stick that will go back there. So this is a cellular trail camera, so I will get pictures on my phone once something triggers it. So all I have to do is switch it on, wait for it to connect here. I've already formatted the memory card at home, so everything should be fresh, ready to go. There's only like half a bar, one bar of service here, so it usually connects fine, but it can be kind of slow to actually get the pictures to my phone, but they do get there. So my blinking lights are connecting, so I need them to at least be green or yellow, I think. Red would be no battery or no connection. It just takes a second to connect here. All right, so the lights are solid now, which means it's connected to cellular that I don't have enough phone service to check see the image or anything like that so I just kind of hope it's aimed the right way and check when I get home. So there's a pretty steep uh, drop coming down here without snowshoes so you just gotta take it slow and step on the dirt or branches or something like that so you don't fall down the hill. Still carrying my bear spray right now it's not been super cold and not a lot of snow so there's decent chance that a bear could still be around. Some of the bears don't go hibernating until December on a normal year. So if there's still food available that they're getting, they could definitely still be out. Mountain lion? What's the bear say? What's the wolf say? What's the monkey say? 
I've set up in this spot for several years now and gotten just about everything there is. The only thing I haven't seen is a grizzly here, but I have got a mountain lion, which is better than the other spots I've gone to. Let's look and see what the camera gets. Usually something comes pretty fast, so I'll post them to Instagram and Facebook. We stopped by Quake Lake here and it's pretty well frozen and not snow covered. That's kind of cool. A few years ago it was like this and there were dozens of ice skaters all over the lake.